Hey everyone, so in this video I want to talk about calorie cycling and how you can use it to stay on track with your nutrition goals, specifically if you have a weight loss goal and you are consuming lower calories as a result. So calorie cycling is pretty much cycling your calories throughout the week, so you have days where you are consuming lower calories and days or a day where you are consuming higher calories. And this can really come in handy uh, if you have an event coming up. So maybe you have a night out coming up, maybe you have a meal out, or maybe you just wanna save calories for a specific day on the weekend, for example, because uh, you want to fit in a few extra treats without going over your calorie goal. So how does calorie cycling work? Well, let me give you an example, and let's just say you currently consume 2,000 calories per day, but this weekend, this Saturday, let's just say, you have a night out coming up and you know you are gonna go over your calorie goal. So the first thing you need to do is estimate how many calories you need for that Saturday. So plan out your Saturday in advance, log all your foods and your drinks into your MyFitnessPal app or whatever app you use to track your calories and see what it comes to. And let's just say it comes to a total of 3,000 calories. So 1,000 calories more than what you usually consume in a day. So seeing as you're gonna be consuming 1,000 calories more than what you usually do on Saturday, you need to balance that out and consume 1,000 calories less on the other days of the week and let's just say that you only make a plan on Wednesday so you only kind of realize on Wednesday that you're going out on Saturday so that gives you Wednesday Thursday Friday and Sunday to decrease your calories by a total of 1,000. So you get your 1,000 calories, you divide that by four because that is the number of days that you have and that is going to equal 250 calories. So you need to be consuming 250 calories less than what you usually do. So you need to be consuming 1,750 calories on these four days and that will keep you 100% on track with your calorie goal. And I'm actually gonna put a comparison on the screen now to show you why this is the case. So on the left, you can see a week where you are consuming 2000 calories per day. And on the right, you can see a week where you are calorie cycling. And if you add up the calories for both of these weeks, you will see that it comes to a total of 14,000 calories. So your weekly change in body composition is going to be the very same for both of these weeks. And I do have one piece of advice for those looking to maximize muscle growth, and that is to hit your protein intake every single day, regardless of the number of calories you are taking in. So let's use the previous example, and let's just say you usually consume 2,000 calories per day, and your protein goal is 170 grams. Well, even if you are calorie cycling and you decrease your calories to 1,000 750 per day, it is still important that you hit that 170 grams of protein goal even on those days. So the decrease in calories should come from your carbs and from your fats. And this calorie cycling method is something you can do every single week if you want to and you don't need to save it for a special occasion. So if you feel like calorie cycling suits your lifestyle and it will help you stay on track with your calorie goal then by all means go for it. So I hope that helps guys and if you have any questions about calorie cycling if it's something that you do or if it's something that you are going to implement from now on uh, then please please comment below and let me know. And make sure you give the video a big thumbs up while you're at it. So thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next one.